find what we're gonna have for dinner for the next few days. Brian just set a seven minute timer and that's how long I have in the hole without him thinking that I've died. Mark put bait in my freezer. Are you kidding me? We've got freaking Ballyhoo in the beef freezer. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, so I need ground beef, chicken thighs, chicken quarters, and probably a stew meat or something. Shank meat. This will be nice for a pasta dish, maybe. Yeah. Let's try it out. I'll make like a bolognese or something. Mild pork sausage. That may, might be good for breakfast tacos or something. Chicken thighs. Yeah, chicken thighs is good. We need like three packs of those. I'm gonna make some bourbon chicken with the chicken thighs. All right, that's good on that. Ground me. Right now I'm laying on deflated fenders. I don't have anything in here. He put more freaking ballyhoo in this freezer. Oh, no he did not. Mark. Disgusting. Okay, Brian just came to check on me and he's helping me bring all the meat back to the refrigerator. Yes, thank you. All right, these are all gonna go in the fridge to defrost for the next three days. taking the rib somewhere. Don't know where. Huh. On to lunch prep. I'm planning on making octopus and shrimp tacos. So right now I'm cutting up some green and red cabbage for a coleslaw. I'm also slicing up some radish as garnish and cubing up some mango to make a mango salsa. The base for a coleslaw is easy, just some mayo, sugar, salt, and vinegar. Sometimes instead of vinegar, I'll use lime. I had some chayote squash on hand, so I cubed it up and we're gonna make a vegetarian taco option. On to the tedious work. We are peeling and deveining shrimp. You can do this with a fork or I like to use a knife. Just make a small shallow cut along the back of the shrimp and you'll be able to devein it really easily. I get this octopus from Sam's Club. It's pre-cooked, so all I have to do is grill it off. I've gotten it multiple times, and every time, it's wonderful. The guests love it too. I usually serve it as an appetizer and season it with some Korean spices. All of my components for the tacos are ready. Let's set up the buffet and call down the crew. Right after lunch was served, I went ahead and got started on dinner prep. With the ground beef that I got from my freezers this morning, I'm gonna make chili. So I'm cutting up some red onion and tomatoes that are going bad, and I'm gonna throw it into the pot with the ground beef. The owners got a cow at auction, her name was Brownie. So Brownie is on board with us, and that's where all of our beef comes from. I'll season up my chili, make some honey cornbread, and onto my midday espresso. I finished all of my prep for the day and the boys asked for help cleaning the boat. Of course I said yes, the more hands, the Should quicker it's gonna get done. Just do it here and then like squish it around and step on it and then you can squeeze it off. So we got, 
Ew. Why is it so slimy? <laughs> this is my first time cleaning the boat, so they had to walk me through everything before I got started. Okay, so the point is just to dry off all of the water. Yeah, doggy. Look at that. Look at that lamb blood. I'm I'm working. If you take me off my job, I'm gonna lose interest. Right now, I'm having fun. Aye, aye, Captain. Big shark. Okay, how do the windows look? El Capitan. Shammy it all. Did you? Yes. Rule number one with a chamois. Squeeze it out when you're done. Okay. And never let the wet part of the chamois sit on the peak deck. Oh no, did I ruin it? It's soaking up the brown wood right now. Oh, sh let me fix it. Abby's now squeezing out the chamois. Do you want Brian to show you how to squeeze it out? No, I know how to squeeze it out. I'm just trying to... Okay. You just left it there. You, you 98 percent of it again. Squeeze out the chamois 101. What do you think, guys? How am I doing? Wait till she posts this one. Oh, she's got her chin around it. She's she's squeezing. She's starting to twist. Oh my word, Abby! You're doing a great job. Call me second mate. Second mate. Is this you? What the heck? It's a fish. No. Do you think a fish dropped? I mean, a bird dropped it, maybe? Is it cold? Yeah. Stop! Is it cold? Can you feel it? No. It looks stiff. Is it frozen? That's a cuda. <laughs> Taking out the trash. Hey, when you make a call on the radio, is there like a certain like uh, way you sh say things? Like on what? On channel 16, it's for hailing emergencies only. Well, aren't we on? Six. Well, the boat is on 16 and we hear all like the, hey, I'm coming into the marina. I have two radios running up there. Oh. But then when you call out, do you start with like your boat's name? Yeah. And then who you're trying to reach? Yeah, who you're trying to reach is the Oh. So, oh, it already died. So if I was calling Mark, I'd say Mark, Mark, Gina. Gotcha. We came across this restaurant called Big D's, so we decided to stop. Brian set the anchor and the pin, and we all got off the boat, including the dog, Thurston. A lot of you have been asking where the dog goes to the bathroom, and this is what we do every single time. We dinghy him into the island. Unfortunately, Thurston had to come back to the boat because there were big dogs that approached us. Uh -oh. Thurston and Gina stayed on the boat while we went to go check out the restaurant for a few minutes. This location was absolutely beautiful. Crystal clear waters and not a cloud in the sky.
Welcome to Duloc, it's a perfect place to go into his head. Side. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. The windows make it. Yeah, for sure. What are you all excited about, mister? Or maybe he's not excited about getting a bath. Chili's on the stove. Table's all set with some honey cornbread cheese and sour cream. got some conch and some shrimp for little miss kitten and i'm also gonna pack her a beer no just kidding um some lamb bones one with a lot of meat on it thurston you want to go see the kitten in crypto meet me out back we're gonna get some conch at staniel remember that weird guy that came up to me on the motorcycle in staniel yeah, king Herbs. I got the herbs. He the herbs. I got some great herbs. <laughs> that was weird. <gasps> There's a cat! There she is! Look, the window's open. We can feed her right here. Come here! There's a bunch of meat in there. That's really nice. You want to eat it? Come here. Come here, sweet girl. We got food, honey. Sit. Here. Take it. Why is she yelling at the lamp? Here. We got shrimp, conch. You gotta hear these noises. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Bye, Luna. Have a good night, Luna. pajamas she stole a golf cart she drove all over town I had to I had to get her from the police guy that just stopped us here I got out her I got her out of that um, they almost handcuffed her so I, but, but she's gonna be okay she'll be out tomorrow I put up the bail a couple hundred bucks probably cost me a couple hundred more tomorrow I don't know what it is Abby comes around we're in trouble it's just what happens when Abby's here Peace out, little chef.